Hi guys, this is the review of the 2005 Boomerang Power Vacuum. So this vacuum is uh, it's all right vacuum. It's like the older one. Some of them have a joint chamber system or more filter on the side. The other dust on dust collector on the other side. Those are on the other side. So it's a joint chamber system. One good thing about this one. I don't like the Hoover photo where you gotta take the filter off the front of the container and dump it on the trash can and then touch on that dirt and allergens and stuff. So that gets you one better option than that photo wear. So this vacuum, I like this vacuum because it has a lot of features. Of course, most vacuums have a headlight on them. But this one, it press the button take the thing off and you can clean the filter by turning the little knob and then make sure that filter is clean and then you just slide it back into the container like, like that so another good feature on this is of course it has a wide path on it Five height adjustments, actually one, two, three, yeah, five. And keep it on low parquet for some reason. Only problem with this is the little thing broke on the side, so I just had to take it or something, but it still work. You can see it kind of got a crack over there, but it'll be all right. It's a bit of plastic and stuff when it gets old. So, I have a big crevice tool. Extension of wand. These attachments have never been used before. Can read it. And in the back, I have a dusting brush and a poster nozzle. I've never been used because it's still taped up. Yeah, hold on. This hose off. So I do not like this hose design for some reason. This and the Hooper Photo I have this thing. Hose design. Let me just pull that on. So let's pull it back up. So I do not like how you have to click the hose back into this thing and explore a little. I do not like that. Oh, so little. it's like Google Photo. Right? And the cord, for some reason, it only has one side you can turn it to maneuver it. You gotta get a cord off. Now, another dumb idea that Hoover did with this vacuum is added security bit screws on the, this only model. Like a couple more models there, yeah, but this is the dumbest thing you can do. I think the Hoover probably did not want the Hoover company did not want somebody hacking into their machine, so I think that's why they added these security torque bit screws for some dumb reason. Do if a guy uses a torque bit screw just to get to the hose to check for clogs for no dumb reason. I'm not doing it, but I think the thing is like the fold where this has a fold kind of handle. And then just put it back up. So, another thing is power control, touch mode, on, 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 off. And now on the top, you can switch the power boost if you want it to have better suction. You can turn it to power boost. If you want it quiet, you just turn it to lock and then it'll you just stay the same. Hush mode, pretty easy. On, it'll go loud, but hush mode is pretty good because it'll go hush. You got a LED light. No, not a LED, but I got a headlight over here. I'm not going to take it off and clean it because you got to get this. 
So I'm going to carry handle right here in the middle. Wide path, 12 amp motor, Hoover Cleaning Performance 22.0, Hoover M Power, low carpet, hard floor, medium carpet, high carpet. So this is, um, this Hoover M Power came in uh, four to five different colors. It came with this Calypso green color. It comes with a orange color. It comes with a blue color, like a disco LED blue. And it comes with a Turbo Power 4600. I think for Hoover Turbo and Power it comes in the gray color, and that one came out. This kind of the gray one is actually newer than this one. It came out around about six or seven late. So the Hoover M Power series started in February of 2004. And ended in January 2009. I'll take that back. They switched it to commercial vacuum after this in 2009. That's by TTI. So we look at the bottom. For some reason, they had an idea to use the brush oil like the Hoover photo. You know, Hoover sucked it up one time. I don't like it. Man. So this is specific model is U five two six six dash nine hundred. This decodes the first four digits of the serial number decodes the month and the year. So January two thousand and five zero one zero five. So this is early two thousand and five. Uh, yeah. So, not much to say about this vacuum. It's a good vacuum for the price back in the early 2000s, but it's not the best. You gotta, unlike the wind song, you don't have to slide the thing off. You press the bit button right here, and it just come off like that. And. Nothing much to say. Review in the next video using the demo. Peace out.